Lottie was a tremendous woman and a great deal of drive. Her work ethic, she was very, very energetic and she was tireless. She was passionate. She was willing to speak out. Lottie Falk was also courageous, and she shared a vision to begin a professional ballet company in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, without Lottie, uh, there would have not been a company. She knew that the city was in need of a dance company, and she was at a time in her life when it was something that she wanted to do. Born in Turkey in 1921, Lottie Grunberg grew up in Italy, where she studied art and philosophy in Milan and other great cities of Europe. When she got older, she moved to New York City, where she first married Michael Gerard, then industrialist and philanthropist Leon Falk, Jr. But in 1963, the couple left New York and moved to Pittsburgh, where Lottie quickly became involved in the city's growing art scene. She fundraised for the Pittsburgh Symphony and the Pittsburgh Playhouse. Former Steelers wide receiver Lynn Swan met Lottie in the late 70s. And she wanted to feel like in the city of Pittsburgh, anything she wanted to see and be a part of should be here that she didn't want to feel like she had to jump on the plane and fly to New York to see it, or Chicago, or go some other place, that she could have those great things here. And great things were already here. The city had an opera, a symphony, and major league football and baseball teams, but no ballet company. But in 1969, Lottie was approached by a choreographer and dancer from Yugoslavia about starting Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. So I went to Lottie Falk and uh, said, I would like to invite you to be the president of the board of Pizzo Valley Theatre. And she said, well, I will talk with my husband and think about it. So she got good reports about me and uh, she accepted. To say Lottie was a good hire, well, that would be an understatement. Under her guidance and perseverance, Pittsburgh Ballet Theater was able to move its studios from Point Park College to the Boulevard of the Allies and then to its now permanent location on Liberty Avenue in the Strip District. Wadi and her husband Leon purchased this building and she raised the money to renovate it into the studios that it is today. It was a bus warehouse when it was purchased. Janet Groom Campbell has been with the ballet for more than four decades. She's the company's costumier. Lottie hired her in 1973. When you watched how hard she worked, you knew that if you wanted to stay here, you had to work just as hard because she was a very, very hard worker. Oh, Lottie, she was incredible. She did everything. Uh, you know, I mean, she was a fundraiser. She was doing it, overseeing it. Without her, it's difficult to think of what kind of ballet we would have in Pittsburgh today. Richard Simmons first met Lottie while they were on the board of the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. He's a longtime supporter of the performing arts in Western Pennsylvania and is chairman of the symphony's board. He's also a patron of the ballet and remembers Lottie's great love for the dancers. Lottie was interested not just in the dancers during their careers, but she was interested in them after their careers and their post-education that would prepare them for life. PBT's history of care and concern for its dancers still continues today. It looks beautiful from the front when After retirement, some remain in dance, becoming ballet teachers and choreographers. Many also go back to school, finding careers in a host of other fields like law and medicine. Lottie Falk helped build a solid foundation from which the company continues to grow. She and her husband Leon with personal passion and philanthropic support 
helped catapult the Pittsburgh Ballet onto the national and international scene. Theirs is a legacy that will endure for generations of dancers to come. She really taught us how to be strong and get the job done. She really is a person who put this together. She did pass it to the next generation of the right people to get her along. A lot of they felt like we should have this. This should be a part of the fabric of artistic community here in Pittsburgh. And so she drove it, she made it happen.